Hello everyone. Uh, this is Mahalingam uh, Subhan, the Vice President for uh, Telecom uh, Vertical for Team Lease uh, Services Limited. Um, I welcome you all for yet another session of Team Lease Industry Dialogue, where we'll be discussing more insights about the industry and come together to share the knowledge of the industry and come with a solution to the challenges that we are facing today in the industry. Today it's my pleasure to welcome Charu Vijayvaliya who is the HR head for Big FM. She has overall 16 years of experience in learning and development and have been 9 years with Big FM. She is an experienced team management and learning and development specialist with a demonstrated history of working in a dynamic industry including media, banking and dot com on key HR aspects including organization development, diversity, employee engagement, corporate social responsibility and non-profit organizations. Mm -hmm. So talking about the industry, Big FM is one of the India's largest radio network that broadcasts primarily at 92.7 MHz. It's part of the Reliance Broadcast Limited with 58 stations reaching out to 1.9K towns and covering 1.2 lakh villages in the country. It is accessible to over 34 crore Indians across the country with, the, with its distinctive and thought-provoking content. Big FM is known for its timeless music and is a pioneer in storytelling. The unique brand positioning, Doon Badal Keto Deko, they are the, one of the most loud radio stations in the country today. Hi Charu, uh, good morning and welcome to the show. Um, uh, media being an industry which we are all keen to know about uh, what are the challenges that the industry is facing yes. and how the challenges we overcome, right? As an industry, how we are overcoming, we are pretty eager to know. Right. So that's why we are here today. So my first question uh, to you is, what are the importance of talent in the industry uh, that you are looking at today and uh, how do you engage with different talents? Okay, um, first of all, you know, um, I would tell you that, you know, talent is our asset, uh, Maha, you know, uh, we believe that our talent is our bread and butter in every sense and they are truly whom we invest in and uh, media is a dynamic industry and um, yeah, the bedrock of industry is creativity and innovation which is ever evolving right so we engage with different talents in various ways we have uh, people who are working with us in the in the payroll we have uh, people who are working with us through to the uh, help of different staffing agencies like yours, you know, like Team Leads, Nanstead. These are different agencies that we have engaged with. We also work with short time consultants, we also work with part time consultants, we also hire people project based. So, these are, there are different ways project based consulting uh, which employees do. So, uh, it's like all out there. We have all kind of engagement with our talent right now. That's great to know. Yeah. So having said that, what is the current uh, trend in the media industry mm -hmm. and what kind of profiles do you see which have high demand in the industry today? So I would say you know the talent landscape has completely changed now uh, especially fueled by COVID okay um, and you must have read about all of this the great resignation period or the you know quite quitting, silent hiring all of these uh, factors you know uh, we have faced in the media industry as well and uh, currently uh, media as an industry is looking bullish because they are recovering after covid okay and they, it's a high talent industry uh, and high demand talent industry right now okay and a uh, lot of efforts are being hired to the right people as uh, as we say that you know, multiple reports have shared that you know having the right talent are not easily available in the market. You have to invest in them and you have to really invest in the learning and development aspect of it. So right now when we are hiding talent, we are not going on with a set skill and looking and searching for the talent. What we are really hiding is people with the right attitude who has a trainable attitude, right? And I think those are the talent that will really shape the future, uh, especially in media industry as uh, it is really evolving and the needs of industry is changing. So uh, the next question is that uh, how do you stay relevant in constantly changing job market in your industry? Okay, I think we're all looking for an answer for this and I think we're all different uh, peers of mine are just finding their right answer for this so I would also make an attempt to answer this question. We are doing multiple things. I think uh, today organizations have to do multiple things to 
um, be a you know attractive employer okay and i think first and foremost is the culture that you build in the organization right because the biggest brand custodians are your employees when they go out in the job market right, right? Uh, anybody would do that right if you get a job offer from any company you will try to first see who are your common link linkages and you pick up a phone and say that, you know that yes shit. yes that's how you know yes. that's how we uh, get into another job that's how we do job hopping so it's very important that you know um uh, anybody who calls my current employee uh, my current employee becomes a brand custodian because i think i will um win the half the battle of attracting a talent if my brand custodians are speaking about Possibly it more. right Absolutely. so that's uh, one of the thing which is which you are constantly building on is the culture and we are very well known for the you know culture that we exhibit in the organization and we get them Secondly, uh, yes, you need to be there where the talent is, right? Um, so, uh, yes, um, the because of the changing demands and the pressure of the overall business, uh, we also focus a lot on the learning and development, right? So, there's a lot of efforts which we take internally, time and again, and regularly, uh, we are investing in learning. And learning is no longer those two days training in the classroom. It doesn't work that way in today's world. People have very short span of time. so we have come up with uh, micro learning modules which is like on the go learning module not too long uh, and it's it's a certain learning that is happening every day why i am bringing all this point is you know because uh, people think in today's world that uh, not only about landing up uh, into a job but also sustaining in that job right that's very important yeah that's important so if you have that kind of culture you know that the employee will be completely taken care of and you're not falling into the regular rigor of you know hiring and you know and people leaving you early and you're investing so much of time in developing them okay. it's because it's a complete cycle uh, for an employee to come and become productive in the organization that takes good number of months right for yes. so it's very important to get right people and yes right yes uh, the next question is how staffing agencies today can help you to uh bridge the gap between the job seekers and the employees in the industry right i think staffing agencies are like a very important agent for uh, today's corporate i would believe because uh you know uh, we all say that you know the consumer is changing yes. right and because of consumers organizations are changing right the corporates are changing and especially media industry if i talked about you know we're all influenced by the advertisers and the Uh, and the consumers, yeah. right? And when they are changing, like you know, there are the rules of the games have changed, and um, so now we see a complete different shift. Like if you see um, emerging markets or non-metro markets, I think as you call or we call it, tier two, tier three cities, yeah. is where the maximum growth is happening, right? And uh, there, a lot of organizations don't have the expertise. and i think staffing organizations like team these can play a very vital role in tapping the market because uh, because of flexibility with the, which they operate the scalability they have the uh, the industry knowledge that they have because they usually have different uh, people uh, covering different industries right while they're catering to the clients so they really have those expertise so you know if i don't have staffing solutions like yours as a partner then you know i have to go and you know uh, do a market mapping from ground zero but when an organization like you come in you know they really get my half the work done or that you know so 80% of my job is done because you're already because you're only present so the kind of scalability and uh, um mean and, and industry understanding and the knowledge uh, that you have uh, can really come in handy for business like ours and especially uh, smaller and mid companies you can really help them scale at much faster speed and pace if uh, you know if you really want that kind of growth in the uh, growth in our business so so that's i think they can they really play a vital role in uh, helping businesses like us to really fast track their growth absolutely right so having said that uh, you're talking about tier three cities definitely staffing agencies play a lot of role in tier three cities right. in getting the resources which is generally tough situation for the corporates right. however in tier two tier a and b one and two cities also uh, 
today we do a major role in terms of managing the entire end to end life cycle management of an associate. Right. So that becomes uh, much more easier for our customers also. Yes, absolutely. Uh, very valid point, you know, because the nature of uh, requirement of talent is changing. So like I was saying that, you know, now we want only people for three months job or a six months job or nine months job, right? Or for a year, because you know, the short term, uh, short term employment requirement is now increasing than ever before, Absolutely. right? And because the kind of setup you have, you can really uh, provide that kind of uh, flexibility for the corporates to experiment otherwise it becomes like a dead area for most of the corporates to That's think right. you know how to engage with these people so, so this, uh, like I said that you can really contribute on the speed accuracy of the talent the fitment of the talent and really contribute to the growth of the business in a much faster way see we are not working any longer of one year plan, five year plan or three year plan, so right? Yeah. Right now it is all about quarterly plans. Yeah, exactly. So if I am working on the quarterly plans, you know, you play a bigger role in achieving those quarterly plans right, from a same. talent requirement. So, so I think uh, very important and very critical stakeholder. Right, is it right? So, what opportunities and challenges do you see for radio industries in the future, and how you can overcome that in the future? Okay, so although we have come to the fag end of our interview now, but I would say that you know we don't uh, call ourselves in the radio industry. Uh, yes, uh, because you know we call ourselves as audio entertainment now, oh, right? Okay. You must have seen there is a complete consumer shift in the audio space per se, right? Uh, with the audio OTT coming in, with the uh, podcast coming in, okay. there is like so much happening in this uh, space that you know uh, so we call we so now we call ourselves as uh, not only really big but we have something called big world okay and under big world we have a lot of off offerings right like we have big games we have big live where we do on ground activities where we do digital initiatives uh, we have um, we have big podcast as a as a unit which is you know uh, serving to the clients we we have big advocacy so these like plethora of bouquet of uh, things that we offer beyond radio Understood. right and that's how the industry has completely evolved it has become an audio entertainment industry right so it is growing at a very fast pace right you you see that you know now people are not even glued onto the video content right they are glued onto the audio content if you see right and uh, very recently um, there was an advisory note which was issued from government that you know uh, it is compulsory it should be compulsory for for mobile phones to have uh, radio chips in the mobile phone so that's the kind of reach that we are talking you know uh, in the industry so I, I really see the growth is insurmountable every time they said that radio will disappear every time any new invention came in media uh, TV, when TV came they said radio will be this radio will disappear when OTT came they said radio will disappear but you know radio is here to see because it is a mass media it is a credible medium right uh, people trust rj's a uh, lot of you know they, it is really trusted as a medium and the beauty of radio is that uh, it is very local in nature yes. right you cannot make tv content hyper local you cannot make ott content hyper local but uh, radio content is hyper local uh, catering to that particular city and it is um, uh, it is highly dynamic Right, so I can always change my content as per the situation, right? Which is not possible in TV and other media, right? Because it is a completely live content, radio, and it is completely tailor-made content. So, the, as an industry, it has a lot to offer, and it is uh, it is growing back. The listenership has gone up in radio. So, uh, so the, the the industry is really exploding in that sense, and uh, that is why the war of talent. You know, we are also part of the war of talent, and uh, hiring the right talent uh, is our uh, prerogative, right? Because uh, uh, so we have uh, RGs, and we have hundred plus RGs in our organization who are like an influencers in themselves so they are digitally omnipresent so there's much more to this industry and um, there's uh, I would not say there are a lot of homes but I think there is a lot of dynamism in the industry and uh, we can uh, we can really see that this industry will do wonders and you know for both advertisers and the listeners and it will ultimately benefit the consumers.
So you say there is absolutely there's not a major challenge because the industry is anyway growing, right? right? The only challenge is uh, uh, is uh, the resources. Yes, I, I would say uh, the challenge is to constantly shift yourself with the technological advancement that is coming in. Yeah. It is important for everybody to uh, adapt technology. I think that holds true for all the industry right now. Uh, like Big FM is one of the um, uh, you know front runners in adapting technology. I would I'm happy to share. You know, just reminded me that very recently we have won 25 awards. And uh, in one of the you know very recently awards have happened, you know the awards season has started. We have won about twenty five awards, and most of them awards for was for not for radio per se, but for everything else that we did, we, uh, being experiential marketing, being AI, being uh, podcast space. So that's where you know we are really positioned. Yes, um, so you can really see the growth is happening. But yes, having the right talent to deliver. And understand this growth and take the organization to that direction is something that we are constantly looking out for. Great. Uh, thank you, Chakul, for a complete insight about the industry. Uh, and uh, we, are, we from Team Leads are wishing you all the best for your future growth. And we really want to witness the growth in coming years for Big Apple. Yes, thank you so much and thank you for having me here. Thank you for the time.